Welcome back to Splitting Image Taxidermy. Thanks for joining us. Today's episode is brought to you by Badger Cargo, Splitting Image Taxidermy's favored shipping agent. Badger Cargo is a great setup. These guys have been exporting trophies globally for Splitting Image Taxidermy for quite some time now and have done an exceptionally good job doing so. From time to time we meet with these guys and we chat to them about the intricacies, the hurdles and what's generally happening in the shipping industry. To give you a little bit of feedback from a shipping perspective, we thought we'd just touch on a few of the, the do's and don'ts around shipping your taxidermy back to your home. One of the big ones that's come forward as of recently is that clients are trying to pull multiple shipments into one crate to save money in exporting their trophies home. This isn't altogether correct. Firstly, by pooling trophies under one person's name, you are putting yourself in a position where you may be in contravention of the Lacey Act. We really don't suggest that you go this road. The saving that you're going to make by putting multiple hunters into one crate is only slight given the risk that you are actually breaking a law. Our suggestion is each hunter has their own hunting documentation. Each hunter has their own crate of their own animals. When your freight is calculated for the export of your trophies, it's done so based upon a volumetric calculation. Therefore, those two crates can be seen in their entire volume, but the paperwork is separate the shipping is charged individually and the trophies per hunter are kept separate. Everybody's safe and at the end of the day you will see that you aren't losing that much in terms of the money you're investing in your shipping. So we often get asked, who do we pay for shipping? More important than that I think is that we define what is shipping. There's the export of the trophies there's the customs and clearing of your trophies in your home country. And then there's the delivery from the port of entry to the final destination, which is your home, office, showroom, ranch. Doesn't matter, the final destination. So there are three principal payments in getting your trophies from Splitting Image Taxidermy to their final destination. You pay the shipping agent, for the actual freight export. You pay the customs and clearing agents for the customs and clearing of your shipment. And then you pay for the final distribution to your home. There are service offerings in place that consolidate all of these into one payment. This is convenient and it works really, really well. Some folks, however, like to drive to the customs or clearing agents offices and collect their shipments themselves once the shipment has been cleared through customs. So keep in mind, in the timeline of your taxidermy, you would pay splitting image taxidermy for our services, the shipping company for their freight and export, the customs and clearance house for their services in clearing your trophies through customs, and then lastly, if there is a distribution from the Customs and Clearing House to your final destination, that would also have to be paid. Another topic that often gets broached when considering the shipping of trophies back to your home is, are my trophies insured? So quite often you'll get a quote from a shipper and at first glance it takes your breath away and not in a good romantic kind of way. Am I going to be paying this much for shipping my trophies back? Quite a few of the shippers will take a premium insurance rate that is stipulated by an international hunting association like SCI for example and place that in as a standard insurance quote. It is exactly that. It's an insurance quote. You're not bound by it. You also don't have to insure your trophies if you feel that it would be financially beneficial for you to not insure them and rather save the funds because you don't believe that there's any real reason that something could go wrong. From our perspective, we would always suggest that some insurance is put in place to cover the high value items. 
Because of having an affiliate taxidermy studio in the United States, we will always cover our clients and look after them. We have a multitude of spare skins, so if something were to get damaged, we will always naturally back you up on things like Impalas, Springbuck, Wildebeest, Kudu. These are readily available and easily replaced because of the structure that Splitting Image Taxidermy and Taxidermy America has in place. However, we would suggest that some insurance is put in place. So when you do first see that insurance quotation on your, your estimate from the shipping company, don't get a fright. It's merely a starting point. From there, we can decide whether we go up or down. In terms of what you should be insuring, please ask us. We do this all the time. We're more than happy to give you advice on what we suggest you should or should not insure to save you on the bottom line of your shipment. On the timeline of taxidermy, please follow the link, take a look at exactly what processes your taxidermy goes through from the day that you finish your hunt right up until it's delivered to your home. It's quite nice to see the changes and what you can expect from the process. As a hunter, I fully understand that you spend a lot of money and a lot of hard time out in the field hunting these incredible animals. The anticipation of your work builds up and builds up over months. So it's very important for us to keep you part of the process throughout. Subsequently, the timeline, constant updates, as well as giving you clear financial information about what the cost of your taxidermy, shipping and customs will be right in the beginning of your experience. If you'd ever like us to quote or give you an estimate on taxidermy, the shipping thereof or the clearance of your trophies to your home country, please email us. Contact us through the website on www.splittingimagetaxidermy.co.za. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and check out our YouTube channel. We've got lots of great information that will help you plan your next amazing experience. And where shipping is concerned, we have you covered. Please take the time to watch through the videos we have on offer and it should answer a multitude of questions to make your next experience completely trouble free. Thanks for watching. I hope that this has touched on some of the, the details around shipping that have left many of you asking questions. We're always here to share information and make your experience as simple and positive as possible. Please stay tuned, keep on watching. We've got a great series coming up on Mozambique very soon. The intricacies of hunting in Mozambique and exporting your trophies from Mozambique to either South Africa or over to the United States. Stay posted, it's really, really good information and is going to make your planning of your Mozambique and Safari so much easier. Thanks again and we look forward to hearing from you soon.